I mean, the fact is that to this day, China has only lost 4,636 people. The United States today, 616,000 uh, people. I mean, you know, in, compar compar com in, in, in terms of a comparison, they are obviously, you know, incomparable because China has, has performed, uh, I would say, magnificently, and the United States has performed uh, abysmally. But the campaign has rolled on, you know. I mean, the, the uh, uh, now you get uh, uh, you get Biden uh, uh, returning to the theme of the lab leak and uh, giving his uh, security agencies 90 days to come up with, you know, what should be done about this. And the latest uh, ridiculous, absurd example is the Bloomberg and other reporting that you know, honor ranking, COVID resilience ranking, the United States. Uh, comes number one. I mean, this is really, this is, this is, this can't be taken seriously. This is the most absurd proposal I think I've seen. Um, the fact of the matter is that even now, today, you know, uh, the United States is more or less top of the world league, over a hundred, uh, over a hundred thousand cases. Compare that with China, which has now a new outbreak and the, it, the total number of infections per day is now a bit over 100. Compare that with the situation of 100,000 in the United States. I mean, this is this is chalk and cheese. It's ridiculous uh, to even put them in the same category uh, in relationship to the competence of their handling uh, of the, uh, the epidemic.